I simply use the Dropbox app on my phone, menu, upload, show the Z4 root file, I put it in my public folder, and then right here I just long press on it, share, copy a link, and then Clipper says, hey, there's a new clipping. Open up Google Voice, compose, and in the compose box, I simply paste. And there's a link to the Z4 root APK. And then in the two, I just put whoever's phone I want to root. Like Jesse. I put in his name. It sends him this link on his web browser. I open it up and it downloads it to the SD card. Click install. Can to see if Z4 root will root the Zio. This phone is probably slower than the Hero. Just making sure the screen doesn't turn off. Maybe that's good. Maybe it worked. Maybe. The biggest reason why I want to root this thing is to use Titania Backup to uninstall a bunch of apps that are locked on here. Like demos and stuff like that. Stuff that came pre-installed. <laughs> that was New Benel's, uh Radioactive Froyo on the moment. I need to cut my nails, I know. Okay, I don't think this worked. Alright, we did that Z4 root thing. Apparently, I had to do it twice. It shut down the phone the first time, and then the second time, like, the phone was unresponsive and not doing anything at all, and then it just powered off, and it restarted. And now, when you open that drawer, Super user, this phone is now rooted. And we're gonna install Titini backup and we're gonna get rid of some stock apps. Oh wow. <laughs> we have Titini backup working on a Kyocera. Why does it say Sanyo right here? Mm -hmm. Kyocera right here. It it's it's Kyocera. Samuel is the owner of that company. Anyways, it is rooted.